Good morning everyone, I'm at home with Oscar on the sofa and here is mum and brother there in the other room arguing about silly stuff let me tell you what they're arguing about, simply um, it's, coming up, it's a holiday coming up, so now is a holiday actually it's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, it's a holiday time the mid-autumn festival and here is family, aunts, uncles, grandpa, grandma, everything are going to arrange a uh, lunch or dinner or something where everyone's gonna meet up as a big family a big happy family um, but usually these kind of things it's one of her uncles that always you know arranges it and pays for everything and this time they're not happy about like letting it always be that same one uncle so they're gonna change it and they want a different person to arrange it and pay for it uh, they don't do they don't really do like everyone pay for themselves here. It's not really a thing. Um, they have a name for it. They call that AA, where you pay for what you buy, which is what everyone would usually do back home in England. We usually just, you know, we all go together and then the bill comes and we split the bill, that kind of thing. But here they don't do that. They are, they, it needs like one person to arrange it and pay for it. And they're arguing about whether they should make a scene and tell everyone or whether they should just like, <laughs> It's all complicated, so I don't know why they're making such a big deal over it. If it was me, I would just like either not go or just pay for it myself and just not bother with like who's arranging it or whatever. Just can't be bothered. Just make it simple. Anyway, people like to complicate things, get out of boredom or something. Um, something to talk about for half a morning. So yeah. Anyway, that's what's happening this morning. They've been here since about nine something and it's probably about 11 something now and they've been arguing about the same thing since then so yeah <sighs> just had a a moment we can say with Oscar he is putting on a show oh my god crying and screaming and just going crazy it's all an act Every time his mum's here, he does this. All an act, just to make her do everything he wants. And usually it works, sadly. But he gets so noisy and fidgety and just... Oh, it just drives me crazy. I just think, Oscar, just talk. But he doesn't talk, he just makes that, you know, that sort of like, like he's about to cry, that kind of noise. Ugh. Anyway, terrible twos. I mean, he's three, but I guess it rolls over, rolls over to three as well. I don't know how long it lasts, but very unreasonable. Maybe you can hear him a little bit now. It's just every word is like, just like constant moaning. <laughs> Drive me crazy. Anyway, here is mum and brother have just left. They'll be back later. They're going to have a nap. Uh, we don't have that luxury because Oscar doesn't sleep in the daytimes. Well, only if we go out. But today we didn't go out. So We're just here at home, not doing much. How's your day? How's everything? Hope you're good. Can't believe it's nearly the end of September already. Absolutely crazy. Oh my god. Yeah. October, November, December. Hopefully I should be back home in three months. Let's see. No disasters between now and the end of three months. Please. <laughs> please, please, please. I can't handle any more disasters. Uh, I've got to leave here in three months. If I don't, then... I'm going to lose my mind. I already lost my mind. I don't know what else can happen. I've already lost my mind. What else, what, what else can happen to me? Oh, yeah. A comment yesterday on yesterday's video saying not yesterday's video sorry a couple days ago saying I am insane for getting the second jab and it's like I understand people don't want to get the jab I didn't particularly want to get the jab here I really didn't want to get it here I wanted to get it done back home but the fact is that here I can't do anything if I haven't had the jab that I can't go out anywhere without being pestered even yesterday we went to Nanjing and came back on the way back, they're like, 
double triple checking my details and looking at me funny and like because I'm a foreigner and all this like they think all foreigners have the virus so you just can't do anything if you haven't had the vaccination and I don't believe it's effective I don't believe it does anything to stop the virus I don't believe it does anything really to help the virus too much from what I'm seeing you know countries where the vac vaccination rates really high they still have a load of people dying they still have a load of people with the cases um, testing positive and stuff so I don't really think it does anything, but since it doesn't do anything, having it shouldn't really be such an issue. Like, I don't know why people are going out protesting the virus when it doesn't do anything, right? It's like protesting someone putting water and sugar into your body. It's like, oh, come on. I don't believe it works. I haven't seen any evidence that it works. Uh, look at Israel. Weren't they like the first with the really high vaccination rate and their deaths and cases are still like way up so it doesn't really do much so i don't understand why people are going crazy about it just get it it's like water and sugar just think about it as that water and sugar being put into your arm instead of into your mouth it won't do anything to you good or bad it's just nothing but what it does do is it ticks a box for those people who want to say that you've had it gives the pharmaceutical companies some more money to research cancer and whatever else they need to research and then you can get on with your day it doesn't do anything to you so I don't understand why people are like I've seen so many videos and pictures of people going crazy like protesting the vaccination stuff like who cares why, why do we care so much about something that doesn't do anything you know, if it really did the stuff that people have said, like, gives you 5G and makes you magnetic and all that stuff, come on. Aren't those good things anyway? <laughs> like, wouldn't you want to have 5G with you everywhere you go if, if, you, if you believe that it gives you 5G? Like, what kind of stupidness is that? Or that it makes you magnetic. Don't you need metal to make yourself magnetic? Like, a clear liquid going into your arm is going to make you magnetic. Okay, that's a new kind of magnet. <sighs> anyway, rant over. Um, so yeah, just get the vaccination if you want. If you want, I'll add that. If you want, but if you don't want, then leave the people who have got it, leave them alone. Because it doesn't do anything to anyone. Except waste people's time. Waste my time talking about it. Waste your time going out protesting about it and commenting about it wastes everyone's time to even think about it you just do it be annoyed that you've had to do it they've made you do it okay but then t for your body nothing who cares didn't do anything nothing one tiny little jab ain't gonna do anything look how many people have had it you're gonna worry about people dying china's got 1.3 or 4 billion people and about a billion people have had it and they still have about 1.3 or 4 billion people like, there was no population change when a billion Chinese people had the vaccination. So, I think we can get over ourselves. Alright, moving on. I'm going to leave the vaccination talk for someone who knows more about it than me. Bye! Blue, blue, bird, blue, green, watermelon, green, leaves, green, 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 socks. Good. Orange hat, orange pumpkin, orange fish, orange, orange. Oy, it's been a day of staying at home, and now it's 7.20. We've done absolutely nothing all day, except hover around Oscar, who is dominating everything and everyone. So, good and bad, I guess. But at least today, one shower was enough. So, yeah, that's a good thing. Um, day after tomorrow, we're gonna go out again. This time for a few days. So, and we're going to the south of China. We're already considered south, but we're going to like real south. 
where it's really hot. 35 degrees there today. Today was 33 here, so still also pretty hot. Um, and we might go with Hillary's uncle this time. So let's see how that goes. Oscar, you're so noisy. Anyway, this has been a bit of a non-eventful day, so I'm going to end it here. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye!